Russell with the Piano Outlet. First, I'd like to say Happy New Year. This is our first video for 2015, and uh, right now in front of me, what uh, what I'm working on is a Yamaha CS. That's an eight foot three concert grand piano. Uh, the CS is exactly the same piano as the CF, which is a full concert grand. However, it's just a little smaller. That's what the S means, which means semi or semi-concert grand. Uh, this is a fantastic instrument. You don't see too many of them. They weren't originally exported here to the United States. They were relegated more for smaller concert halls in the uh, in Asian countries and Europe. But uh, occasionally we do get them over here at the piano outlet. And actually, we've got uh, three or four of them here right now. Uh, only one is available. But um, I want to talk about the electronics that we installed in this piano. And uh, what this piano got is a piano. Uh, piano disc low profile system and uh, pro record strip. So what you're able to do with this piano is you're, you're able to record, playback. Uh, you could also uh, practice with the piano silently. Uh, this one has what's uh, uh, known as a mute rail. Uh, incidentally, let me show you what the mute rail is. If you look over here, one of the best ways to install this mute rail is if you actually have the key bed off. The key bed is the part of the piano that uh, the keys sit on, and right now if the key bed was on, which is that piece right there, you wouldn't be able to see this. The mute rail is very difficult to install. Uh, it only could be in one place in order to stop the hammers from stopping the strings, but st still let the piano feel natural when you're playing it. So a lot of time goes in into placing exactly where this apparatus will go. This is the rail itself here, and uh, once uh, I'm able to get the exact um, area where this uh, rail is supposed to occupy, then I'm able to, to uh, drill this hole because this hole here which goes through the horn is very important. It's very important that it's straight and it doesn't uh, veer off to the right or left or in or out, uh, otherwise it won't operate properly. So a lot of time is uh, devoted to getting this new rail into the exact, uh, exact place that it needs to be in order for it to work properly. Uh, the mute rail is cable driven. Uh, this is the lever here that, I, that activates it. Um, this is a bracket that I actually modified from the factory. Um, the original bracket came out too far, so I folded it back and uh, put it against the piano itself. Uh, this bracket here is also something that I designed because when the uh, mute rail is activated, you don't want any lost motion. And if this bends down as it's pulling, then you're going to get lost motion. So it's kind of something that I uh, design myself. Also this guide pin, this brass guide pin, this guides the wire so that uh, it doesn't bend in any direction also uh, causing loss motion. So, so it moves nice and easy. The lever is here, just goes in and out and once it's in this position the hammers can't hit the strings. Okay, let's focus now on the piano disc system itself. Right now I'm in test mode. Every aspect of this piano with the electronics get tested. Every time I do something, I test it. Because once I assemble this piano and if there's a pinched wire, then the whole thing has to come apart. So what I do is instead of building this system in the piano while the piano is assembled, I disassemble the piano and I put everything on the workbench, make sure everything is right. So right now, the camera will come around here. You can take a look at the solenoids and I'm going to activate them. Uh, incidentally, the record strip is activated, it's on, and it has the sound of a grand piano that's going to be coming out of the speaker. So when I press the test button, watch what happens. So that's telling me that everything is working perfectly as far as the piano disc system is concerned. Now when I come over here, if I want to test it and play it, you'll see that it works perfectly. Incidentally, that noise in the background is the machine that we use to put strings in the piano. It sounds like a jackhammer because it's kind of like a jackhammer. I'll take you back there in a little bit so you can see. If I want to test the sustain pedal, so this is the sustain pedal uh, sensor. 
And uh, this would be the sustain pedal lever if it was up inside the piano. If I take it off, now it's triggered. Now you'll watch it sustain. If you hear it. See it? The sustain pedal's working. The strings aren't here to stop the hammers from coming up, so... That's why you're here. Now if I put this down, there's no more sustain. See, watch. It'll turn off. So everything is working like it should. Incidentally, this is a CS that we actually just put in the same exact system, so if the camera comes down... This is your speaker, your IQ, your Airport Express, pedal solenoid. You see here is the sensor that I just showed you up on the workbench. There are all the components. You see the, uh, that's the volume control box. That's the silent, uh, I mean, that, that's the uh, Pro Record MIDI system. And this is the, uh, uh, the silent mute cable. Now, when um, this piano is activated, it's silent. And now when I activate the silent lever, it doesn't play. Except it will play, because just as I showed you on this one, the sound will come out of the, uh, the speaker. Now let me show you all the noises. So, you stand over there and follow me while I'm walking. There, okay. <laughs> this is, my son's a cameraman, he's just getting used to uh, being able to do this the, the right way. These are all our pianos. We actually have another CS over there that we're putting the... Uh, string, uh, refinishing the soundboard. You're supposed to stay in front of me. Sorry. Alright, I'll show you this CS. This is a CS that's getting strings. Is this Mario is putting strings in? We just refinished the soundboard in here. All brand new strings. Go with the piano. Everything is detailed just nicely. Uh, this piano is also a CS too. Uh, it's going to be done, what, you have the bass strings in today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then the piano is uh, tuned, and uh, it'll be ready for, uh, once it's tuned, it's going to be tuned probably about half a dozen times uh, during the next uh, week or so. And then this piano is going to get disassembled, and this CS is going to get all the electronics that we saw in the other two. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video, this instructional video with our um, uh, electronics, and show you how they all go in. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you.